Namashiva students last day in physics we have studied till distance and displacement and the difference now one brief recap is so what we have learned in case of distance it is the actual path covered whereas displacement is the shortest distance measured and distance is always a scalar quantity as it is having only the magnitude and displacement is vector quantity as because it is having both magnitude and direction now distance is always positive but displacement can be positive negative as well as zero distance can never decrease with time but displacement can decrease with time okay so these four points we have done now today we shall start with uniform motion and non uniform motion now whatever you are seeing in the video this writing the notes you have to write down in your physics copy okay and you have to go through your ncert book many things are not there in the ncert book so whatever you are seeing in the video try to ex understand my explanation try to remember and write down take the running notes and the notes what you are seeing in the video you have to write down in your physics copy now let us let's get started now what is uniform motion uniform motion means motion means what anything that is moving it is in action okay so what is uniform motion a body is said to be have a uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time okay so a motion a body is said to achieve uniform motion when now if that object or if that body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time for example suppose a car a car which is moving in a path straight line path it will cover equal distance in equal interval of time then only we can say that the car is in uniform motion okay now let us see this table in this table see this is time and this is distance 0 then 5 second 10 second 15 second 20 second 25 second 30 second 35 second so the time interval is of 5 seconds see there is a gap of 5 second each okay now distance see 0 10 20 30 40 meter 50 meter 60 70 so the distance is of gap of 10 meter that means from 5 seconds 0 to 5 the distance travel is 10 meter again another 5 second that is 10 second 5 to 10 is another 5 second the distance is again plus 10 10 plus 10 is 20 then again 20 plus 10 30 that means what equal distance in each 5 second of time interval the distance covered is 10 meter in each cases okay that means the car has covered equal distance in equal interval of time this kind of motion is known as uniform motion now what is non-uniform motion non-uniform motion means a body is said to have a non-uniform motion just opposite of uniform is what if it travels unequal distance in equal intervals of time Time. okay for example a car moving through a crowded market has non-uniform motion obviously if a car or if any object car is moving in the crowded market what happened so it can't cover equal distance it will cover it will travel unequal distance okay it will cover unequal distance in equal intervals of timing the distance will vary suppose see this table this is car b time 0 15 10 15 20 25 30 35 time will be same each of 5 second interval okay the time is 0 to 5 then 5 to 10 so gap of 5 second each now distance see 0 then 10 then 15 then 20 then 30 then 60 the gaps are not same from 0 to 10 it is 10 meter 10 to 15 is 5 meter 10 15 to 20 5 meter 20 to 30 10 meter see the distance they are unequal okay so in equal the time interval is same gap of 5 second each but the distance traveled is unequal that means it is non-uniform motion so i repeat uniform motion means if a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time it is uniform and non-uniform means in equal intervals of time the body will travel unequal distance that means the distance will not same in time interval in equal intervals of time the distance will not same it will be unequal then only the object or the body is said to have non-uniform motion okay in the next class we shall start the speed